Tableau. My name is Alexander Tancescu. I'm a data analyst at Billy Provider and certified Tableau qualified associate. Today I'll be showing you how to do a market basket analysis or cork co-occurrence analysis. This is handy for seeing which products are being bought together, either as a whole or for a particular customer. I don't know, making some decisions to drive the sales of one product by making a promotion with another product, which is being sold off, let's say. Okay, first I will need a calculation. So let's say uh, I want my number of orders. And this will be account distinct, order ID, and we're done with this one. I also want to view the margin, so we'll do a profit ratio. Profit ratio. And this will be the sum of profit divided by the sum of sales. Right. Now we actually need to build our building blocks because we'll be using set actions to do uh, it interactively. So we'll do a set from subcategory. So create set. We'll call this uh, uh, order contains. And let's select something here. I don't know. Binders. Good. Now I want to create a calculation which will bring me the items which are sold together with the set. So order also contains, and this will be an if statement. So if my set is false, then I want subcategory and end. That's it. Second field here. Now I want to do a calculation which is called. Uh, product matches, let's say. And this will say that if my order contains is true, then I want one, else I want zero, and the logic here is that I want to uh, sum these, so I get for each uh, order ID, I'll get a sum ranging from zero to, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight, etc. Now, on my order ID, I will do another set, and this will say order um, order has subcategory. And we'll do here a condition. So our new our latest field product matches, I wanted to keep only the values which are higher than one. That means only the orders where I have my selection. Let me get this other set. Now let's start building the visits. So first I want a viz to drive my selection, so we'll do something like um, subcategory and detail and uh, number of orders on color and size. And show the labels and also show subcategory, let's say, with the uh, number of orders. So I get here my orders for each uh, subcategory. Let's call this orders by... Next, I want to actually see what uh, what is bought together with uh, my selection. So we'll do a um, order also contains on rows. And let's look at number of orders on the columns and profit ratio. And let's color profit ratio. And also show the values. So we get here null. This is actually my selection, so we can exclude this. And now we also have to bring this set order has a category because this will keep only the orders which are being sold together with my selection. Let's sort this. Now you can call this uh, orders with selection. Finally, to make it interactive, we build a dashboard called market basket. And let's bring our uh, tree map or the selection, legend, fit entire view, fit entire view, hide the title, hide this. This is just for beautifying it. And now we actually need to create the action. So we'll go to dashboard, actions, add action, change set values. We want the action to be driven by orders by subcategory on select, target the same data source and target the set order contains. And when I clear it, I wanted to remove all set. Call this select subcategory. Now,
when I select a different product, I get to see what what labels was sold with. And I see the number of orders and my margin. Of course, we can do this even further. We can have profit, sales, costs. We can have clients, so look at certain customers. But that this is the basis. So that's how you do a market basket analysis tableau using set actions. Thank you for your time, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask us.